The Dolphins have the highest scoring offense in the NFL, but while fullback Alec Ingle has no touchdowns this season, he's adopted his role in doing the little things that help his teammates soar. And he also has been very open about his adoption story and encouraging foster children right here in South Florida. As Local 10's Eric Yutzi shows us whether he's on the field or in the community, he is worth his weight in gold. Tindabaloa steps up and flips it high, catch made by Ingo. Every yard Alec Ingold gains carries a mission beyond moving the Dolphins offense. He's earned the locker room's trust, but wants to add foster and adopted children to the list of teammates who can believe that his story can help them clear any hurdle. You know, a kid that is adopted can go out and do whatever they want to do. But don't, don't, I know. Alec was adopted at birth by Pat and Chris Ingold. He knew he was loved and was raised to know his adoption story, but still used football to help quiet the doubts that pursue many adoptees whether love still had to be earned through success and in finding out who he truly was. The identity piece is big, um, but also it's, it's a daily fight of trying to be the best version of who you can possibly be and not because you're running away from some fear or some lack of support, but because you're running towards that love. I fight it every single day. Some days it's easy, some days it's hard, but that's life and I feel like just being real and vulnerable about that, I, I just hope that, you know, it can empower other people that <laughs> relate at a very deep level. Did you play sports yeah. growing up? You play? He especially means foster children like Woodson Benjamin. Woodson successfully grew up in Broward County's child net system. He knows there are thousands of children in South Florida who desperately need to find hope as they wait for a home of their own. And maybe potential parents who just need a nudge across the foster care or adoption goal line. You need to see it. Uh, Alec, he became like an NFL player, you know, with the right, like, help and support system. You can mold to anything in life, you know, you can make any, any person become anything. My dad sat me down one day and said, Alec, you've given us so much more than we've given you. It's unbelievable. And I feel like that was, that was the testament. You have no idea how much a loving family can give one another. And um, I had no idea how much I gave my parents, but I know they gave me the world and a world of opportunity. Ingold's moments come any given Sunday where he has helped revive the fullback position in playing a key part in the NFL's best offense. I make sure the catching guys can catch and run. I make sure the throwing guy can throw the ball with as much time as need. I, I need to make sure the running guy has an extra blade of grass to run. And it's like, you're really just trying to help the people that you're around and, and serving them and helping them be the best versions of themselves and it's like, Okay, that does kind of sound like the same thing as this community work with child net. Like it's it's all the same, which is crazy, but that's how you live a purposeful life. These are the cleats we wore, so child net was the foundation. He recently wore these child net cleats on the field, but Ingle knows he hasn't quite stepped into the shoes of these foster children, but he is walking proof that they are worthy no matter their story. They say comparison is the thief of joy, but when you have that family dynamic and it is yours and it's different, it's unique to everybody else's. It, it, that journey was made for you. Those struggles, those trials, those tribulations were meant for something greater, something better. Um, and that's, that's a beautiful thing. No matter the biological family connections, Alex certainly knows something about team chemistry. He was chosen by the Dolphins as the Walter Payton NFL Man of the Year nominee for the Ingold Family Foundation's work here in South Florida. It's actually the second time in his career he's been recognized as one of the most charitable players in the NFL. The award winner will be announced in the week leading up to the Super Bowl in February. I'm Eric Yetzi for Local 10 News. Oh, what a great story. I mean, amazing. And, and it's just a story we really wouldn't know about mm -hmm. without kind of getting this exposure. And that's why it's so important to tell stories like that. So right. incredible. Congratulations.